Next, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the tabs right here. Uh, the tabs is going to add tabs at the top of the page. Uh, you'll see once it goes over there, but if you've been to a site with tabs, you click tab 1, tab 2, tab 3, and all the content is down here so that you can have a ton of content on the page and have it lay out nicely with images and text, but it's all tabbed. So let's give that a title. Let's go ahead <clears throat> give it some text. Let's go ahead and add in an image. We will go to Add Media. And we'll just add a random image. We will align it left, insert into page. And that does not look like it has any space to the side, so <clears throat> we will go into Advanced Options. We'll just go ahead and actually first copy all of this. That way we can put it in all the tabs and it will be quicker for the demo. So save. There's tab one. Now tab two. Oops, not in the visual, on the back end, in the text. Demo two. Save. Demo three. Save. And we will save this. Click Preview. And let's see how it looks. And now you see it has the tabs. So this would be another way of taking and putting a ton of content on one page, but being able to put a lot more because now you have tab one, tab two, tab three, and you see this has a lot of room for tabs. So you could have up to eight or nine tabs if you have a full size page. So you can put in a lot more content. You can also use this not only for that, but let's say you had products that you wanted to display and you wanted to just create custom tabs each time for your products. You could put a product up in here and display the products and people will be able to tab through the different products. And this would be another way, another nice way as well of displaying it besides just the shopping cart one like this. So you would have multiple ways of displaying your product or what you have to offer on your website and you can really make things look a lot nicer by using all of these and combining all these different things they have for you to use together. Okay guys, now I'm going to show you the text one. Actually, I am going to redo this row so I can get a two-thirds by one-third. And we are going to insert text. <clears throat> Usually you won't have the basic text editor when you do the page layout. So they give you this option because this is how you will put the text into the page. And then you just save, preview. And now the text will be on the page where we put it with that extra module position next to it. And in the next video, I will show you how to do the call to action button next to the text. But there you have it. The text is right there.